You got low coins. It's okay. I got you. Today, I'm about to give you all a couple ways to make coins with low coins that you guys can implement throughout the year and consistently get yourself out of this rut that you be in when you have low coins. So the first thing I want to show y'all is get a player packs. Now, I know get a player packs have been around for a long time, but there's two different ways you want to do this, depending on how many coins you have or depending on what you consider is low coins. So today we're going to consider about 10K, which is low coins. And this is what you want to do, man. So you want to open up these packs. They're 500 coins, very low value value and whatever you get out of this pack you tend to profit on it right so what we're gonna do is we're gonna open up 10 packs and i'm gonna show you so our first card was billy turner this card is selling for a decent amount of coins somebody sold them for 12,000 3,000 i'm putting them up for 8,000 because his lowest buy now price is at 9,600 his medium is 1,700 and there's only one up on the auction block so i could potentially get this car sold for 8,000 and that's why somebody sold it for 12,000 because it was probably the only one on the auction block so we're going to post him now normally this is not the profit on this so I'm just going to say for the sake of the video this profit is only going to be a thousand coins picked up our nine cards you want to take your 10 cards and then you want to sell all the high overall cards so the high overall goals you can sell the logos if you would like to but you can see that this card is probably selling for about 2,000 coins so you can put them up for like 1,700 get 1,500 coins back right so we'll take that We'll say 1,500 coins. Then you guys get plenty of power-ups that can cover on a lot of pulls. Now, remember, we only spent 5K on this. So that's a W how you only spent 5K and you're able to make a lot of coins. With this Aaron Jones, you can see that 46 minutes ago, he sold for 6,700. Or two hours ago, he sold for 3,000. 6,700, 8,400. But you can see that the lowest buy now is... 33100 so we're going to go ahead and put him up for we're going to put him up for 5000 for an hour I mean for a day and he should sell very easily considering that he's had higher sales not too long ago man and a good thing about these power ups is that they do sell at random prices because you never know how many options there will be up on the auction block right so just from selling the two power ups that we pulled the Billy Turner and the Aaron Jones we completely cover cuz I said I'm only going to take a thousand profit on the Billy Turner, even though he sells for a lot more than that, but we're just going to say a thousand. And then with Aaron Jones, he's going to sell for 4,500. So the profit from Billy Turner and the profit from Aaron Jones, that's already making us break even. And then we got these other cars. So these 74s are at least a thousand coins. So if we add this up, we got 3,000 here by these three players. And then we got 4,500 here because he sells for 1,500. Then you got all these silver players. I don't suggest you to try and sell the silver players. Simply go to sets and put these silver players in the upgrade exchange sets because you're going to get way more value out of these cards being upgraded than you will trying to sell them on an auction block. One, it might take too long, and two, the margins on it is going to be so thin that it's not even worth it. You're better off just player going to the player exchange set, exchanging the low silvers to high silvers and the high silvers to low golds and so forth and so on. And that's what I want to get into for the next way to do to get a player pack. So the first way was the way that you guys can get in with like 10K, and then work your way up to the next way. So once you get to about 50K, you're going to hit, going to go ahead and exhaust all your coins and then get a player packs. And then you're going to sell your power ups that you get. And hopefully every time you do this, you're going to get so many power ups that you'll sell all your power ups and make profit on your power ups. Then you're going to go ahead and exchange all your cards up to 70 through 74s and 75 through 79s. And then you can either put those cards in the sets or you can sell them on an auction block to to break even or make profit however you see fit or you could put these cards into other sets because there's plenty of other sets out there that you can throw these cards into and you can give yourself a chance to make even more profit like for example there's the campus heroes you guys can make campus hero players out of this i know campus hero is kind of outdated but you could still make these elite cards put them over on an auction block these 80 overall still sell for like 5k so if you're getting a bunch of gold cards that have no value and you already made profit on the get a player packs after selling all your power ups you can slowly go ahead and build this campus hero player and then just keep you know building 80s building 80s and you can potentially build an all conference player if you would like to but it just gives you variety of making different types of sets in the games and you could use that that concept and add them to all different sets like team of the week the gridiron guardians you do need elites for some of these so 
I would strongly suggest you stay in the sets that you only need gold cards for. So the next thing I want to talk about is sniping low cards. So you guys probably only have 10K through like 50K if you're looking for like low coin making methods. Even if you have 100K, this is still very feasible. So for example, if you only have 10K, you could still snipe some cards and make something shake. You feel me? Because you, you you have 10K, like it's, it's feasible enough to make coins. And what you want to do is you want to go through here and see what the lowest price elites are, right? So right now they're looking like 5K, but I'm pretty sure that the lowest price elites are probably somewhere around like 45. I do like to filter through so I don't have to see the power-ups, but sometimes the power-ups are worth it. Even this card, no, nah, it's not really worth it. But you guys can see that the elites have went up quite a bit in value. That's good. And we'll go over it. We'll go to newest because I like to look at cards from newest. You know that any card about 4,000 is, is good enough to buy. So just keep that in mind as you flip it through these cards. And you can make an easy 2,000 coins on some of these cards. And then you could go up. You feel me? Like you don't have to snipe the 80 through 81s. You could go to 82s to 83s if you have the coins. If you got like 25K, you just want to try to make as much profit as you can with the amount of coins that you have. I strongly suggest that if you don't have a lot of coins, try to get yourself in positions like this. For example, he's 4,300 coins. I'm, I'm probably going to miss this. Somebody's probably going to buy it, but I'm just going to go ahead and look at it and try to see like what's the numbers on it. So you could probably sell this car for like 6,000, right? So if you sold him at 6,000, you would get back about 5,400. So that means you would make 1,100 coins on this card. And that would be a solid profit margin when you only spend in 4,000 coins and it will sell fairly quick. So this is an easy way to make coins. And all you got to do is keep replicating this process. If you only got 10K, you might only be able to snipe two cards. But then once you once those two cards sell, you'll come back and you'll be able to snipe four cards or you'll be able to snipe five cards. You see what I'm saying? And as you keep doing that over and over again, once the cards sell, you're just going to keep making more and more and more coins and you can move up filter to filter to filter. It's the same concept with every single coin stack. So if you have low coins, you just have to start from the bottom and then move and work your way up. Now, I strongly suggest you pick a filter that you're comfortable with. Figure out a filter that you want to do and something that's really comfortable to you. Because at the end of the day, every filter is going to be different. Like if you're not comfortable, if you don't want to snipe 80s through 81s, don't move up. But just make sure you guys are finding a filter that's comfortable for you. If it's full, move on to something else. If you have low coins, do not sleep on sniping because sniping could get you to the point where, where you want to be. If you're looking to buy a car that's cost 200K and you start in with 20K, don't get discouraged because if you keep working your way up, you'll easily be able to get to that 200K from 20K. You just have to be consistent with it. And that's one of the best things that I could tell you is just keep being consistent with the sniping. Start start from where you could start with and keep working your way up by learning filters and learning what works for you. So let's go ahead and check on this Warren Sapp real quick. This could be a good buy. He's been up for an hour. This one's been up for a long time. 83s. I don't know if 83s sell for 10K, but hypothetically speaking, if they did, that'd be like 2,800 uh, coins. I think they could. So let's see. Yeah, they could easily, right? This could easily sell for 10K, right? Because that one just sold for 8,000. So we can go ahead and put him up. I'm going to just show you. So I'll buy him. All right, so let's check his price. Hopefully, he is around 10K. Like, even at 9K, I think it would still be a decent buy. So, okay, 9K. So he sold for 9,100 coins five minutes ago. His hovering price is 84. That's his medium price. And there's five currently available. I put this card up for 9.9K. I'm going to get back, I think, 8 point something K. But either way, however much I get back, I'm going to make an 1,800 coin profit on this one card that's not going to take that long to sell so i'm going to put them up for 24 hours so i don't have to worry about looking at them again but it is literally that simple now you see i have 251k right if i exhausted all of my coins into buying 83s each of those cards cost about 10k each i should be able to buy about 20 cards with the coin stack that i have 20 cards give or take so i'm gonna take my 1800 coin profit i'm gonna multiply it by 20 that's 36k i could probably find that in a good 10, 15, 20 minutes. But then at the same time, I'll also find better snipes where I'll make 3K, I'll make 5K, I'll make even 8K on some of these cards. I just have to be consistent in one filter and then you'll be able to make a crazy amount of coins. Do not sleep on sniping, man. It is one of the best ways to make coins with low coins.